some new go time colors and we're going to show you right now so i want to check these out okay, okay. um these are they're beautiful and if the thing about go time is that it is a one step gel polish so tracy still likes to use a base because what it does is it put, puts that protective layer down mm -hmm. so that when you go to remove it if you if you're e-filing it you just e-file to the layer no top coat needed cure shiny we got new colors here that Tracy's gonna dip. You need, you need the basket, the basket, the lotion, and puts it in the basket, the basket, lotion, lotion, the basket, the basket, the lotion, and puts it in the basket, it puts it on the skin. Morning, Tracy. I want to say thank you for the countdown. You are very well. Thank you for the countdown, mm -hmm. Tracy. Yeah. Anything for you, honey. Tracy. Let me yeah. say it again. Thank you for the countdown. You're more than welcome. Um, Jorge. I'm glad to do Jorge's job. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're having uh, an awesome week. Super excited. Um, the holidays are coming near. Today we've got- I can't believe it. I know, I know. It's like December is almost gone. And today we're gonna do, there's gonna be a few things we're gonna cover. We'll talk about the sale, okay? So any questions on the sale, let us know in the comments. We're gonna go- Not um, tell you nothing. We're not gonna tell you anything but just ask the questions anyway. Yes. And we're just gonna say, sorry, wait until the sale. No, we're gonna tell you as much as we can, obviously. New colors, go time. Tracy is gonna do some swatching. We're gonna do some live swatching. I can't wait to see these on the little palette thingies that she's gonna do. It's gonna be fun. And then um, I heard some really interesting stuff about um, uh, just the art world and, Ooh. Maybe some NFT discussion oh, a little bit. I found the um, best Frenchy NFTs. Did you really? Yes. Really? I'll share it with you. Oh, you have to. I'm going to check that out. Um, and also, uh, there's just a few things I want to, um, yeah, just talk about some NFT stuff I was listening to on the way here. It's kind of exciting. And then kind of where we're at with what we're going to do with NFTs and make sure that you guys are starting to get that process dialed in. Um, so a lot to talk about today. Um, and then also, obviously, any questions that come up, nails, school, uh, if you're a beginner, experience, design, whatever it is, put it in the comments. That way we can talk to you about it. Um, but first thing is the sale is just around the corner, Tracy. I, a lot. I know. The corner. I know. You're always I, like. <laughs> I just, I was watching uh, old vlogs. And I realized he said that there was a span of like two months where almost every vlog he would say it. Mm -hmm. And I would always go, I would take the camera and then go like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then I would come back to him and he'd go like this. He'd be like, what? Like what? What? Like, what why did you do that? Around the corner, bro. And he'd, <laughs> he'd be like, idiot, dude. We, we, we actually tortured him, what, last week? Jesus. Uh, was it last week? He was not happy with us. Wait, what, what did we do? That what was we, when we started uh, doing half of this quote and then I'd finish oh it or I'd do half and God. we would finish it. We have a text thread yes. and we started just, Greg was pushing our buttons. So we decided <laughs> to push back. And so we started saying things that Greg says, like, it's not I'm, the tools. And then I, I would finish it with, it's the fools that do damage. And then uh, I, I would- Chop wood. Yeah. And then Tracy would be like, carry water. And we would like, she would start it, I would finish it or I'd start it, she'd finish it. And we're on this on this text thread that that me, Greg, and Trace are on it, and we were just hammering away at him, and and eventually he was just like f off. <laughs> we got the fool, and it wasn't even like a ha ha ha. It no. was like he did not talk to us again. He was pissed, <laughs> and it was like success yes. that it literally feeds fed, our soul. Yeah, it right totally fed my soul. But do you remember when we used to do the vlogs, Tracy and Greg? So Greg would walk in, right? I want you guys to imagine this for one second, okay? Like how challenging it actually was to create content back in the day is we had to post two YouTube videos a week and they were vlogs mm -hmm. and they were either uh, Tracy would do nails or Greg would do nails, right? And so on the days where Greg would do a nail, he'd walk in the door and then he would just be like, be like, good morning. He's like, sup bro? And then he would just sit down like silent, right? Yeah. And I'm looking at Tracy going, holy shit, how, how are we going to do this? Like he's down, he's, he's something happened either. Who knows? Who knows? Somebody flipped him Marriage. off in the freeway. <laughs> I 
we're all there. We're all there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> say. No, I'm, gonna, I'm put, my, I'm threw myself under the bus. No, but no, you have a bad kids that morning weren't cooperating. Whatever Dude, it was, it, all of us can just yeah. be in a bad mood, right? So, and it'd be like, oh Jesus, how the hell are we gonna shoot this vlog? And I literally remember the mindset. I'd be like, "F it, open the camera, pull it out, hit record," and it was like, "Go!" And you could tell. Yeah, Greg it, does not. He so does. We, I, don't, I don't remember what vlog it was, but there is a vlog where you and I were not uh, feeling each other. Oh, okay. And it started out as a joke while we were doing the vlog, and okay. then it just went into like seriousness. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Um, I remember that. That doesn't happen often. No, it doesn't. And um, but the minute the camera came on, you would never, you you, you would, would not, you, you would, would never, never know. know. Yeah, you would never know. You never know. We would just go into like it's time to like we got to yeah. get this done, right? Yeah, yeah. We'd, you know, put that aside. But yeah. Greg he, he, doesn't hide it. It shows. It's it's kind of one of the great things though about him is like yeah. he you're, you're you get what you get whether it's on camera or off camera on his yes yeah, honestly if he or does whatever that saying is no no totally and and for I think you and I there's moments where there might be things going on at work where it's like gnarly and yeah. then it's like yo we got to shoot this video <clears throat> let's yeah. just let's get into mode and we just go but there is so funny if you go back and watch the old vlogs you'll see there there's times where he is not in the mood and and so my tendency and Tracy's too is to sort of poke prod the poke the bear you know what I'm saying it's I, I didn't have sneeze I gotta sneeze okay <gasps> hold on we gotta say hi to someone well Habib they oh don't want gosh. me to say hi uh Habib my kids are watching they don't believe me that the CEO knows me say hi to them what up kids of Dzenitram Martinez kids good morning welcome yes um hello <laughs> Uh, so anyway, yeah, go, go and, um, just watch them. It's funny. It, it, oh my God. But they, they really were we just, um, and, and really at first, right. It was, we tried to do most of the videos with Greg cause people really didn't know y you or me. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fact. <laughs> it's a fact. So there was no option. No. We, we had to make it happen. And then eventually <laughs> we Greg. could, we could like split it up. Right. Poor Greg. Yeah, I know. I know. Vanessa Bartolo Divan, as usual, Tracy looks beautiful. Habib looks handsome. Can't forget Habib since he has feelings. Thank you very much. I do have feelings. I appreciate that. Ooh, That's very nice. <laughs> Mar Mariah Jane, Tracy, you look beautiful. Your hair is gorgeous. Wow. Thank you. Tracy, like, it's so funny. Like when there's something, this is, I don't know if this is just a guy thing or like, like when, when there's like a change of like a subtle change of look, right? Yeah. So obviously you, there's, is your hair straight or is it the curl or like what I'm looking at the camera to see? It's just or what? Long. Okay. But everybody notices here, like, like on camera, they start, they'll like start commenting and then I'm like, oh, oh, oh yeah. Hey, Tracy. <laughs> it's not like, a, like it's a guy. Like just, No, it's, no. it's called brothers and sisters. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. I don't care what they look like. I, I know. <laughs> no, it's true though. I, uh, I'm, I'm like, I, I think we, like, we're we we work together so often and see each other so often. It's. I could walk in just, my pajamas. He would probably wouldn't even notice. I wouldn't even notice. No. I wouldn't even notice. Good morning, everybody. I might try that then. Yeah, you should totally try. Yeah. Come in with your PJs, man. PJs. Um, Strainy the Pink, Boho Bell Nails, Purple BTS, Vanessa Bartolo Divan. Ah, oh, Ginger. Oh, Solo La. Are those Where? good? What? Gingerbread houses. You know, I'm not a huge gingerbread fan. I'm not, no. Like, as a matter of fact, last night there's a box of cookies on the table. I opened them, and there was a chocolate chip cookie that was sitting on a gingerbread, in a, on a gingerbread cookie, whatever. And it had a little remnants of it on it. And so, like, when I ate the chocolate chip cookie, I could taste, and I didn't like it. I was like, you know, I'm just, okay. there's not a lot of sugar I don't like. Okay. I like 99.9% .9 of sugar. Yeah. Gingerbread, you know what I hear? I'm not into it. Snickerdoodles. Really? Like, I could chow those, man. Oh. Anything <gasps> Snickers, I could go off. Hold it. What? I have to do something. What? Hold on. What do you have to do? While you're doing that, Tina Esperanza, are you calling somebody? Yeah. Okay. It's important. Okay. Good afternoon. Can you guys do a video on how to prevent greenies? Hey. I seen another YouTuber video on it, but can yeah. you make a video Please educating uh, beginners on how to stuff. prevent? Um, so. We will t ask Tracy once she's done on her phone call because apparently 
We got a gift. I forgot. We needed to bring it over. Oh, we did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Please, please. Let's see the gift. Thank you. I want to see the gift. Oh, so Calamandi subbing with Prime. Thank you so much. Um, and I think, uh, Gorilla Girls resubbing for one month at tier one. one. Thank you for the, f uh, five months. Five Thank months. you so much. You Is there, put up with, how, how do you put up with us? Uh, we've been on for it's. I think March is going to be a year, so still less than a year. So like ten months. This is we our tenth month. Have an anniversary party. Yeah, we'll totally have an anniversary party. Absolutely. Can I drink at our anniversary? You can totally drink. One hundred percent. Drink away, Trace. <laughs> I think that would be funny. Can you do a video on how to prevent greenies? How do you prevent greenies, Trace? And another, uh, I seen another YouTuber video on it but can you make a video educating be beginners on how to prevent what what would that look obviously proper preparation lifting and lifting lifting causes, oh lifting causes it so if you get liquid liquid in, trapped between the artificial and the natural nail you're going to get greenies so therefore hold on um this is good you know what i think we will do a video today Jorge, can you make a note on this? Like, we'll do a video on on preventing greenies and stuff. Ooh, what is this? It's gifts for us inside. Okay, guys. One of our viewers. We got gifts. Let's see here. And I meant to bring it over, but thank God for Katie. Nice. She's got our back. Let us see here. This is for Tracy. And she spelled my name right. Happy holidays, Young Nails crew. Let's open this. This is very, very nice. Oh, my God. Um, I'd say we found our murder weapon, Chief. <laughs> it's a blow dryer. <laughs> it's a blow dryer, guys. That's just, I don't know if you can see that. That's funny. CSI Winter Wonderland. To the Hawaiian crew, thank you for all you do. Have a great holiday season. Um, from, from Cam. From who? Do you know who this is from? C A Kath? Kath? Is it Kath? What about on the front? Let's see. Let's on see this. on the front. It's it's blocked out. Oh. Why do they block it out? Well, thank Why did you. you? Who who can you tell us who? Tell us. Oh, let's see sure. here. To Tracy Habib. Let's see here. Tracy Habib, enjoy the snowflake. Snowflakes. Decor. Decor. Yeah. We've had uh them for years in storage whenever use them use them in the office warehouse give them to people whatever enjoy happy holidays cam cam cam, cam. is this from we got oh oh my god these yeah. are cool wow look at these oh you know who will have fun with this wilbur kira <laughs> she likes oh to yeah decorate. dude let's put them up yeah thank you thank you cam. So, much. so mine says tracy sorry i can't offer liquid librations <laughs> <laughs> they to, know you to ease your stress dealing with the daily bs habib slash habib's <laughs> brother ha. so i sent you a little something else enjoy in front of habib slowly i will nice Ooh, chewy bar. i am i am Coco jealous thank you so much thank you so much that is so kind of you to uh very thoughtful and kind we will put these up we will use them um, happy holidays to you, and please let us know in the chat because it, 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 I see Cam everywhere or Kath. Kath, no, C A M. C A M. Initials. Created by no, who I don't Crystal Glitter. I don't. Has anyone said Jorge? Yes, no. nobody yet. Okay, no. please, please, please let us know because we want to give obviously a huge. Shout. This is very kind and very thoughtful. Thank you. Um, let me. We will play with that. Yeah. 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 I want to take credit for it. Okay. I, I see if it, it to ourselves. If it was me, I would I would be like, you got to take credit where credit's not due. That's right. That's a young nails. Got to take credit where credit's not due. Um, so sale guys, we do as you guys know, we have a uh, we've got a big one coming next week, and this I'm excited about this one specifically just because of the damn dates. How excited are you about the dates? I am extremely right. I mean. 
what does my life come to anyway? <laughs> this is my excitement. <laughs> We're excited about the dates. I know. Um, but, Extremely. but it's true. It's like we start on a Sunday night and then it's like Monday, the Tuesday. Is it, excited about the dates. Yeah, I, I can Super imagine. Excited about yeah. It. So yeah. this is this is how we're going to do it. You know, through through the year in 2022, just to give you a little bit of a heads up. But um, what's up, Heather Radford? Good morning, Young Nuts family. Good morning to you, and and Claudia Dean Aboutwell. Good morning. Just I saw you in the chat, um, Mary Jane. Good morning to you as well. Um, yeah, the sale is going to be good. And like, like I was saying, if you watch the vlog, I looked at I was looking at the list. The list of items on sale, it is, there's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that is on sale. And I was reading in the comments of the vlog too, people are, they're talking about how they didn't really get to take advantage of the um, Black, Black Friday, Friday so much, much. Yeah. but don't worry, there's still really, really good deals. So if you miss that one, even if you got stuff on that one, I think you're going to be, others. there's going to be some others on this one. It's going to be, it's going to be amazing. Uh, Mariah Duggins, I'm not a sweets person. Salt is my temptation. That's not my daughter. Oh, sweet and salt. Oh. That is the ultimate combination for sure. But my daughter is like, she eats, she, she eats lemons raw. Oh, that's my sister. D really? Same. Drives me nuts. Dude, it I drives like, me nuts. I'm like. When you watch them and you like get that. Yeah. Ugh. Like the. The, the face, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Peanut butter chocolate chip cookies from Polly's Pies are dope. Polly Pies are good, man. Love Polly's Pies. Um, I know this tis the season for like shoving sugar down my freaking trap. You did have a cookie? The ones that, uh, yeah. she's still bringing those cookies? No, this is different, but Katie is a, like a drug dealer for sweets. <laughs> She's and I'm partaking. <laughs> You're the customer, man. Yeah, That's man. Sweet. Give me my fix, man. Um, What's that? Tyrone Biggums. Tyrone Biggums. Tracy's the Tyrone Biggums of uh, of sugar, um, and then and then check it out, guys. We do have. I love that we're we're always launching new stuff. We've got some new Go Time colors, and we're going to show you right now. So I want to check these out. Okay, okay. Um, these are they're beautiful, and if the thing about Go Time is that it is a one step gel polish. So. Um, I know Tracy still likes to use a base because what it does is it put, puts that protective layer down mm -hmm. so that when you go to remove it, if, you, if you're if you e-filing it, you just e-file to the layer and then – I think I do. Actually. I had it. I don't know actually, what I do not. I've got tips. I think I have a studio kit down there. Let me check real quick. No, I, I guarantee there's nothing. Oh, right here. There's a stand right here. Oh. It's got glitter all over it, but – Where was – I just used one yesterday that was all clean. Now you got that one. That's not clean. That's not <laughs> it's kind of clean. Um, but Go Time is an amazing uh, gel polish. No top coat needed. Cure shiny. We got new colors here that Tracy's going to you need. What do you need? The... Yeah, I was just double checking that. I wasn't just being blind. Okay. Or blonde. Look, look out. <laughs> <laughs> that went on way too long. <laughs> That was like Family Guy like. <laughs> That's the best part about Family Guy. <laughs> My favorite, man. Just best part about me. Family Guy is. I don't like these. You don't like these? Yeah, because oh. I, they, they don't have the bigger, bigger sizes. So shows that. I got it. 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 What am I thinking? We need Sato. Sato needs to be with us today. People are asking if they can sense stuff. You, um, you, you don't have to like, we honestly, you guys, we love, um, if you can, if you want to, I mean, obviously if, if your Venmo heart desires, is, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, our, our main address, the, the 1149 North Pat street, you totally can, it'll, it'll, it'll get here, but, but don't please, you, you don't have to like, we love you just you the way you are. You being dun, here is what matters. Dun, dun, dun. Timothy. Dun, 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 I'm still mad at Tim. Are we done? Are you dun, dun. I'm just, is it a seizure or? <laughs> it's part seizure, part emotions coming out of I'm upset mind. about Timothy still. Really? Yeah. I didn't even come to my head, man. Okay. I'm going to save this one to last. Though. Okay. It doesn't make sense that I'm going to save it to last because you know how I like to group them. But we're wait, saving wait, that to the last. Can it's I, my favorite. Oh, okay. It's your favorite. Okay. Yeah. Best for last. Best for last. Best for last. Yes. Okay. okay. So, right, backwards. So, please hold. 
Ding, 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 So ding, I send ding, Habib those ding, messages all the time. Ding, ding. That's the hold music, by the way, guys. Ding, ding. When ding. he asks me a question, I say, please, please hold. hold. And, and she then puts I, music, music notes. notes. So he can and, hear it in yeah, his head. Yeah, and, and uh, Sato, he doesn't like it. He doesn't like it? No, nope. and I don't like it either. He loves it. He loves Sato's it. Sato's my man. My favorite, by the way, guys, if you don't know, this is my favorite, like, uh, Karate Kid Part 2. Love this character. Oh, shoot. It's, he's, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. love this Color. guy. Okay. <laughs> Can oh, you yeah. show? Can you show? You're painting it. Yeah, uh, that's why I went. Oh. Oh, that's why you went over there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can you? This is in my way, but I need it. I need to clean in here badly. Okay, so. Let me Ooh. Get... Paint it like that. Please hold. So a little, little, little uh, iridescence, and there is that like a crystal glitter kind of in there, or what's what's it's the? A mica. What's that? It's a mica. It's a mica. It's a mica. It's a mica pigment. Yeah. God, that is, I can see it from here. Look at that. So how would you describe this color choice? <sighs> it's an amazing purple jewel tone. Like mm, Yes, purple, yes. Right? Purple jewel tone. That's actually yeah. such a good description. And can it you, has that can you, silvery, can you show silvery it? Yeah. Um, kind of pigment going through it. So yeah, you that, get that, that shimmer. That shimmer, Almost I was going to say. What reminds me of a little bit of like a cat eye. Like it depends how you're looking at it. Yeah. But gorgeous. Yeah, that's love, a beautiful. Love, love them. Um, so that's that one. We'll, we'll do two nice. coats though because I like two coats. Yeah, you do. Um, and people ask that question a lot. Like can you do two coats with the go time because it's it's shiny, right? And you're putting shiny on shiny. And but it, it does work for the go time, right? It does. And it what's funny is I tell people like this is part of uh, the – uh, don't listen to what I said. Typically, typically we say gel doesn't stick to a slick smooth surface, right? Yeah, right. Exactly. Um, but go time grabs. But I do recommend like a thirty second cure, and then go into your second coat. Nice. So, okay. Um, uh, and then just really quick, uh, vanilla resubbing for one month at tier one. Vinyl thank you, LA. Vinyl LA. <laughs> Thank you for the three months and thank you for the nice message. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for sending me the YN cards all the way up here in Canada. Our pleasure. Our pleasure. We're we're so glad that um, you're part of the YN family. So thank you for resubbing. Appreciate that huge. Okay, let's go on to the next color and then we'll do our two coats on it. Is that kind of a burnt orange-ish? You or... know, orange is my favorite. I know orange is your favorite. This one I like because it's an orange. So you would think it would be called flamethrower, but it's called blamethrower. Blamethrower. <laughs> Which What's is, the name of the other color? First one? Please hold. Oh, please. <laughs> I missed that. Yeah. The whole whole we music that we just talked about, yeah, I missed it. it yeah. It was part of that. Got it. That's how we got there. Yeah, got okay. it. Okay. understand. So, Blame Thrower. Blame Thrower is so good. Wow. Yeah, I love this color. Which is amazing oh that this God. isn't my favorite, right? Because we got our orange tones. We got a burnt. It is, it is a kind of a burnt orange, right? Yes, but... More of a summer burnt orange, but it goes mm. really well for winter. But yeah. it's because of that gold tone. It reminds me of, of like, I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, you can see it. You, you can see, see that? It. Yeah, this you can is going to work so well for summer, too. This is one of my favorite, like, crossovers. You can use this any time of year. you got that gold mica going through it. It's super, super yeah. yummy. Yeah, that super is. Super yummy. That is beautiful. Let's see if we do it this way. Blame thrower. <laughs> the name is too good. Some of these, sometimes I think we just write it wrong and it works. Like maybe it was flamethrower and we just wrote it wrong, but it works. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that sounds like that's a name good. that we would uh, have is blamethrower instead of flamethrower. It's too good. <laughs> okay. Direct deposit. Direct deposit. <laughs> <laughs> it's too good. Okay. This, guys, I know we, we did a green right in the manicure. Right. More of a traditional holiday green with a twist. Right. This is more of that, you see it? Ooh. You want to describe it? Uh, it feels like a, I'm scared. Army green. Oh my God, I was gonna say that. Damn it, I gotta just let it flow. You just gotta go, you know it. I know, I know, but it felt like, like a, I was gonna say, like a pastel -y kind of army, like a lighter version of like an army green. Yes, right? but it, it does it has have a that, lighter tone. Right, lighter, and it's got that gold in it. Yeah, gold, yeah, I can see which that. Which is what's kind of the twist yes. on army green, which hot, hot color yeah. for the season. And again, how well to pull that transition to summer. Yeah, absolutely. 
I like yeah, that. grungy gray. Somebody's saying kind of a grungy gray green. I like that. I like that. You kind of I call it dirty. <laughs> poop green. <laughs> the color of cash, yes. CK five thousand. <laughs> CT five K. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Guys. No, it's 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 uh uh that's that's beautiful. You I don't know if you guys can see the gold tone though in in these colors. Like it's very subtle, but it's like it's think, really, really good. So this is what really bothered me about not being able to launch the manicure and the go time at once. Same time. You know, we like to tell a story with both and that it just kind of flows together. Um, so this really works well with also the manicure colors, which I like to do. This color. This color is going to be, I don't know that we can only do an in and out of this color because I think it's going to be very It's going to stay. Yeah, okay. I think it will be. Uh, so this is called... Lightning strike. Nice. Okay. And this. Look at that. So we have a color, a couple colors this reminds me of, but it's completely different. So um, there's some lint on the tip, but that's okay. We have Canvas 101, which is huge, right? We, we, we sell a lot of Canvas 101. Yeah. And then we also have... Um, Kind of champagne 101, yeah, yeah, which has yeah, got yeah, those yeah. goldy yellow tones. This is like a cream with gold tone. Can you see that? Yeah. They, so they all have. That's that's kind of the 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 the, the consistent, consistent uh, among all of them. And what what helps make the color combos easy? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Um, I think this one is going to be just a very popular neutral. Like, could you imagine like doing a sugaring on top of that? Oh yeah, of, like, no, that's uh, that's ridiculous. Dust or something. Oh my god. Yeah. I love them. Take Vanessa Bartello Divan. I love them. Take all my husband's money. <laughs> <laughs> With that's that's great. Um, yeah, good color to make hot chocolate designs. Totally. Right. Um, it's it's going to be such a. Um, it's one of those colors you you don't think you would go to often. Right. I think you'll go to it very yeah. often. Yeah, no, 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 absolutely. These are, like, that's the thing. You know, the subtleties, I think if you're able to catch the subtleties in the color that we're showing, if, if you, and then the collection as a whole, if you're getting it, you know what I mean? If you're understanding it, um, this is going to really speak to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, especially for, for the season, you know, we're always looking at, uh, colors that are trending, colors that are in, but but at the same time, will even last, you know, past um, uh, like the the quote unquote holiday season. And and since we're, you know, we, we wanted to launch these during Black Friday, but we, we were unable to. There was, you know, it was the the one I think the only thing that we're not able to to launch. But I'm glad we have it for now. Yeah, that last color, uh, right. lightning strike, is just is so insane. I mean, that is, that's a beautiful, it's, it's hard to see guys. I don't, again, I don't know if you can see the, the it's kind of see the gold shimmer a little bit, yeah. but, but like, see live, I can see it from here and they all have just this, this, this touch of it. And it's again, if you guys are able to, you know, really kind of get it, um, you're going to love this collection period. End of story. Um, it's so beautiful. These are so beautiful. Um, and it's yeah i think tracy mary 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 back what's up johnny starfire good good to have you on here good to see you um so i am like i'm so excited what is that is that yours that is uh means i have a meeting but they can go on without me <laughs> they're gonna have to do it without you yes um yeah really excited about these colors guys Super, uh, super stoked. Yeah, super, super stoked. So I think you guys are going to love them. Again, it is go time. My favorite name is Blame Thrower, period. Blame Thrower. Direct Deposit is pretty damn good, though, too. That's a good I, name. Yeah, that's a hard one, right? I like Please Hold, too. Please Hold. Have, just because it annoys you. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm, They're beautiful. I'm, but look at this color combo right here. Do these three? Yeah. I want to combo those right away. Yeah, right, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But, I mean, and then you can just, like. There's so many combos. Yeah. And then if you add the manicure colors. Right, right, absolutely. Just, and this is what goes to show that you don't need 24,000 different colors to start with. Yeah. You get your basics, your nudes, your reds, your commons, and then, you know, as collections come out like this, which are the trendy colors for the year, you add them. Yeah, exactly. And here's the thing, guys. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but, you know, we – 
we do the Fenty um, uh, shows, right? I should say Tracy does them, right? But but here, here's here's kind of like this this is my pitch, right? So this is my pitch. No, <laughs> pitch. no, but it's my pitch, but it's real. Like I, I want you guys to understand. So like Fenty, right? Which is Rihanna's company. When it comes to nail design and color for the Fenty shows, and tell me if I'm saying anything that's false, Tracy, mm -hmm. they go to Tracy and they ask her for her designs and color picks to match, you know, the vibe of the show that they're bringing, right? So they, the, Tracy will get inspo and then she does the color as well as the designs. So when you're talking expertise, I'm going to compliment you right now. This doesn't happen often, but I'm going to do it. Damn it. When you have, that's like expertise at the highest level. It doesn't get any higher than that. When you're talking about Rihanna and Fenty, okay? Tracy also does the collections for Young Nails. So what I'm saying is what you guys get when she puts these together, what you guys get, you guys get the highest level. No other, I, it's freaking true. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? <laughs> You don't like to be complimented. Mm -mm. It makes you uncomfortable. Very. Right? I don't like yeah, it. I like it. Mm -mm. I like it. But this, and and it's, I don't think it's said enough, and these are facts, okay? But when you have the number one top, you know, fashion, arguably, company in the world, right? And you look at Rihanna, who's an icon in the world, and when she's coming to Tracy for these wrecks, and Young Nails gets the benefit from that too, and so do you guys. I'm telling you, you gotta stop and you gotta listen. You gotta and that's, stop. you gotta stop. You, got, you gotta stop. <laughs> I'm just saying, um, it doesn't get any higher than that. And like, uh, Tracy is very, um, she's very modest and she's actually humble. Are you humbled? I'm humbled. You're very humbled. Tracy's actually a very humble person. But I'm going to blow it out right now because it, it, we don't talk about it enough and we need to. But those are real facts and that is the real deal. She comes on here. We joke. We laugh. Very personable. But when it comes down to it, she does shit at the highest level. Period. End of story. And that's what we're bringing to you with this collection from the mind of Tracy. Din, 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 din. That's a scary place. I know. I've that been is very place. fortunate. That's what I like to say. Um, and, and, and that's, that's awesome, you know, but, uh, like in the end you have to still execute, right? Like, like y y the opportunity can come and this is with everybody, right? The opportunity can come, right? Mm -hmm. Like, Ooh, Fenty wants to work with young nails and that's amazing. And, and we're, we're very lucky to have that opportunity, but we have to perform. If we don't right. perform and execute, guess what? We never work with them ever again. Yeah. Next. How long have we been working with Fenty since 2017? Been that long? It's been that long. It's been four years going on five. And not only do we do the shows, Tracy does the shows. I shouldn't even say we, but she and the oh, team and our team yeah. and our team, yeah. right? All our amazing mentors, but also uh, Tracy and team, they do like the uh, photo shoots and right. for ads and, and social media and, and like everything else, right? Yeah, these are facts. So, um, yo, that's what I'm talking about right there. If somebody knows color, no, but she is an expert in color. I'm just telling you that. So I'm very proud to have Tracy as part of the team. Okay, that's it. No more Can complimenting. Yeah. I'm going to stop. You. You're welcome. Can you insult me real quick? <laughs> Even the playing field. Uh, don't worry, it's coming. Okay. <laughs> coffee, coffee and corgis resubbing uh, at tier one. Thank you so seven much. Months. Seven months. Coffee and corgis. Gosh, it doesn't house. seem like it's been that long, but it Dude, seems like we've been doing it forever. Too. I know. Like it's weird. And it's very sweet. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas and celebrate the sun starting to come back. I know it's been freaking cold, yo. It's been flipping cold. I hear Wilbur out there. Click, click, click. I brought the dogs in today, guys. I brought Wilbur. Anti Tracy and, uh, time. Yeah, Anti Tracy time. Um, and they're like, Wilbur knows when he goes to Anti Tracy's, it's like vacation because I don't. Here's the funny thing. I. Like I, Tracy, like will she'll like you know babysit the dogs for us. She takes them and it's her and Stan, and it's it's like the nicest thing in the world. It's a lot of compliments today, mm. and um. So, but here's the rule, and this is a rule that Tracy laid down in the immediately. beginning. Immediately is like happy to take the dogs anytime, but when I take the dogs, you don't ask. Like you don't, you don't like, I think I try to do that one time. Okay. Make sure that they're fed here and they did it and don't give them this. And she's like, mm-hmm. She did the young solo, which is, uh-huh. Okay. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Uh-huh. Ryerson rules. <laughs> Ryerson rules. And 
Ryerson rules, they are. And Ryerson rules, they stay. Because here's the thing. Spoil. Spoil, <laughs> spoil and rotten. And, but, but there's actually like nothing more that you want for your dogs than to just to be loved on and freaking spoiled. And it's like, dude, what? I, so I, I think that happened the first time and then, you know, very quickly, cause I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a very observant person. Mm -hmm. I thought about it and I was like, what the hell am I even thinking? Like, there's no better place. I don't want rules for Greg, my dogs. Greg, and Greg really tried to do that. Yeah. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> Would you like your dog watched? <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you want to watch? Then shut the beep, beep, beep. Like, like seriously. Right. Uh, CS nails. Do your educators ambassadors have discount codes on your site? Um, not yet. But there's, guys, there's a lot of stuff that we're talking about doing for 2022. We are still developing our um, ambassador influencer program. Mm -hmm. If you are interested, please email us. What was that email? Info? or Well, no, e email Kira. Because she okay. handles the ambassadors. And Perfect. she can direct the influencers. Okay, cool. Yeah, to she, uh, to she, Janot. Janot, yeah. That way they don't have to try to figure out which one to go to. But go to Kira. Great. And, and um, yeah, you got it. Kira, Kira at, yeah. at Young Nails. So you can see K-I-E-R-A -E at youngnails.com. Just hit her up if you're interested. In fact, uh, Kira, we're supposed to go over the ambassador program today. Nice, nice, nice. I don't nice, have time. Sorry. She's like, will you have time tomorrow? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. totally, totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel spazzy. I feel spazzy. Do you? Yeah, I kind of feel spazzy. Well, you're, you're, you're pumped today. I know, you're a like, pumped. You, get, you get to go out of town. I'm not, well, yes, yes. Are you I, going today? Not, not uh, tonight. Oh, I'm, you're I, going tonight. I okay. have to go back home. I have to do a few things. Oh, I do. Home? I do. I have to go back home. Back this and way? And then I have to come back this way, oh, yeah. That sucks, I know, but you should have seen the, it was unavoidable. It was like, I could try to pack everything in, but then I wouldn't have been here until 11 a.m. Gotcha. And it's like, I want to come here. I want to stream. Dude, I go back traffic's in. not good right now. The holiday traffic, I hate. Oh, it sucks. It's Cockatown. I mean, 5,000. 5, <laughs> Nails Crib, business question. A salon owner offered me to work with her part-time, either by commission or booth rental. Okay. Mm -hmm. Her goal is to have me manage her salon in the future. Nice. She also told me I would be the first choice when she sells the salon. Mm. I have my own private studio, still not fully booked, but we have a decent amount of clients. What are your thoughts about this? I have my thoughts about this. Mm. Things change very quickly when it comes to stuff like this. Yes, it does. And if you put all your eggs in that basket, and I'm not saying she would do it, it's just things come up. Yeah. And, you know, I've seen a lot of people put a lot of pressure on themselves for other people's businesses with the hopes that they're going to inherit it kind of, or, you know, be able to have the first option to purchase and something changes. Yeah. Here's, here's the thing. Okay. Unless I like to depend on me when I'm building something. Okay. okay? And, and so let, let me, let me, let me clarify what that means. If somebody promises, it sounds like she's promising you the world, which right? is great. Which is awesome. I'm sure she has all the best intentions of doing for, that. For sure, she's got great intentions. She's got positive intentions. I'm not saying she doesn't have good intentions. But what Tracy said is very accurate. It Things change. So like, let's say you you say yes and you go into this and then you help her build this insane, amazing, like, like bustling business. Unless everything is detailed in a contract, right? And an agreement, which then you're, you're going to need lawyers. So, so this this is the back and forth. What happens? She creates a contract from her lawyer. She's going to have to spend money. Your lawyer needs to look at it. It's going to cost you money. There's going to be back and forth. There's going to be negotiating going on. Then you're going to start getting into details because what lawyers do is they think about all the stuff that you don't think about. So they're going to come to you and say, "Well, have you thought about this, 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 and this?" You're going to be like, "Oh my god, no, I haven't." And or, then it's like back and forth. You thought about it. But you don't want to put that out there because you don't want to offend. You don't want to offend. So now then it gets weird. You know, it starts awkward. to get weird, awkward, uncomfortable. That's the proper way to do it would be to go through lawyers or else you don't you don't want to go on a handshake. You don't want to just do it off a of word of mouth because then that, that can get ugly um, really quick. Yep. So for me, I like to when, – when, when something um, – maybe seems too good to be true. I'm not saying it's not, but but usually it is. You know, I got, you know, Caesar knows this. Just last night I was talking to Caesar and I did a little, 
a little, you know, something, something on the internet. Like, I'm not going to get into details about it, but I was exploring and trying and I bought some stuff and uh, it seemed like a good thing and I got jacked. <laughs> <laughs> I was it telling happens. Caesar, it does happen. You know what I mean? Um, and it was just, and look, it, it's happened all through my business career, you know, where I try to do a business deal of some sort or, um, and I mean, how many years Tracy did, 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 how many business deals did I do wrong in, in the marketing department before yeah. we started doing social media? How many, how much money did we lose? All yeah. bad deals, a right? Lot. Yeah. A lot of money. Yeah. So, but in the end, I, I want to depend on me to build the business. If you have your own private studio right now and you're building I would say, like, I don't know. For me, I would I would continue doing that. Yeah, well, I guess what you have to figure out is are you good if it doesn't work out? Right. Let's go worst case scenario. Are you okay with that? Are you being taken care of? Are you going to kill yourself for the goal of this and then it not pan out? You right, know? And right. if that happens... Are you going to have an issue with it? And then, and then, like you have some clientele that you're building right now. You you do this deal. You got to bring them over to the salon. So now, does does does, does the salon own the client? I mean, I don't know. There's just a lot of yeah. there's so much detail that you got to you got to work out in that process. Yeah. You know, because you never like let's just do a for instance. You know, you, all good intentions, right? Yeah, you help for sure. her blow up the salon. Everything's going good, and all of a sudden, her family member, child. Right. sister, right. whatever goes, what do you mean you're going to sell it to them? Right. Why wouldn't you get, sell it to a family member first? Right. I should have the option. And I, I don't want family member problems, and you're not a family member. So right. things change very quickly. I, I called Tracy this morning, and, and, you know, we have some some business stuff oh, going yeah. on right now. And, um, you know, like whenever I was telling Tracy, like even in the past throughout our career, when, when you do business with family, it, it becomes very, very complicated yeah. and very it's complex personal. because it becomes personal. It's yeah. right. And I, you know, there, there are times where, um, in the business career where it's like, okay, I, I don't have an option, right? Like, like seriously, I, I have to make this decision and I have to do it this way. But it happens to be that a certain family member will will get involved, and they're not going to get the best sort of like deal out of it, and then it affects them, yeah. and um, and that sucks. And so that the family dynamic element and and people sort of chirping in your ear can is real. It's That's real. real. Yeah, and if you have family, put, so I'm sorry, might not be the answer you're looking for, but and it might be. It might you know be that you're like, no, it's all good. If it doesn't work out, I'm yeah. fine with that. I'm going to be taken care of in the process, you know. But just a few things to think about. Interesting. She just said uh, she mentioned a contract where I cannot take the clients if I leave. Yeah, no, nah. dude. Uh uh. Uh uh. Mm. uh, -uh. First but, of all, she can't even control that. Yeah, exactly. You can't even control that because clients will do what they want. They'll that, do what and they that's want. what people don't. The, the one thing I don't like is uh, you're going to buy my salon and I'm going to sell you my client list. Clients are going to do what they want. Dude. If a client does not want to stay in that salon, they're not going to stay in that salon. Sell you client list is the biggest scam. Mm -hmm. It's a scam. Yeah. It's it's an, you cannot exactly what Tracy you said. Control. You cannot control. A uh, couple things real quick. There's some interesting stuff here in the chat that I want to want to talk about. First of all, Jam Cake, thank you for resubbing five months. Really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, and then uh, it's interesting. SoCal Mandy, I've always wondered how Greg and Habib's relationship has, has stayed so well. Well, I'll be honest with mm. you. I'll be honest with you. And, and Tracy's seen this. Um, it hasn't always been like that. I was just talking to a family member last night about when we first, you know, we're, we're, we're building the business, my relationship with my mother, she didn't talk to me for like four years. And, and you were in business with her. I was in business with her. And she's your mother. And she's my mother. And, and, talking. and I lived at, I at had to home. move back home. That's you lived there too. Yeah. So I lived at home and she ignored me for just because it was, I took over the control and I took over the finances and I took over the checkbook. She was pissed about it yeah. because, you know, she did it that it, this was her, she started the business. So, um, but, but I'll tell you, you know, through the years, Greg and I have had our ups and downs. It hasn't always been, you know, um, rainbows, rainbows and butterflies, man. It has unicorn farts. and unicorn farts and puke and, and French bulldog yeah. sniffles, <laughs> snorts. Um, it's, uh, it, it's, it has no, been challenging. I've seen it. I've witnessed it. You have witnessed and, it. And, uh, when you work with family, it, it, there's a personal, emotional side to it. Period. And, and uh, it's hard. 
But you guys do. We we've done we've met we've gotten through it. It's unavoidable. It's unavoidable. Exactly. You guys are going to have conflict. Yeah. Business partners that aren't family are going to have, have conflict. conflict. It's period end of story. Uh, exactly. That's one of the things she was mentioning to me. She will pass me her clients. Nah, nah, nah. Nails crib. Stay where you're at. Do do your thing. Do your thing. Don't. I would not just, uh, enter that. I if I were you, I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. I just am very settled where I'm at. Move on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when you unfollow, do you lose your, your subscriber badge in where you left off? Because I don't know what happened. I'm not sure. But I, I just saw that you refollowed Susie's Q Herta. Did we so. even talk about the new emotes? Oh, my God. We have new emotes, guys. That's right. Um, we have a... Juices and berries. Juices and berries one. Right. I think I'm eating juices and berries. We have a let's see here. yeah boss. So let's see, guys. There are new emotes, guys, which are... they're his, Oh, my God. Swatch this. That's an awesome one. Yeah. We got a yeah boss. Yeah. We have me eating juices and berries. And then we have a yeah boss. Yeah boss. Um, <laughs> we got cakes and pies. Yeah. Was vanilla, that new or is vanilla. that in there? Cakes and pies have been there. Okay. I think that one's been there. What's what's the one of you, that? That, that's one? me singing, dude. What? Uh, that's me singing. <laughs> that's me singing, Trace. Singing like uh, how I want to sing a song. Oh, that's one that's been there. Jesus. Right? Yeah. That one is, he does that face a lot, actually. He does. Uh, nice. Vanessa Bartolo D. Van. It's good to see. Guys, throw the new emotes in there. Um, it's fun to see them in the chat. How do I find, can we put the, disc did we already put the Discord? We did. Yeah. Okay. We did. If it's we up get, there. Yeah, it's up there. Scroll up a little bit, Jorge, real quick. Hold on one second. Let me just, there was something else. Uh, keep going, keep going. Right here. I have a friend who's working on getting her nail license and is currently working under a temporary trainee license in another salon. Mm -hmm. I want her to come work with me. She would obviously pay the salon owner rent, but I would let her use some of my products to get herself started. Do you think she should also pay me a commission for using my stuff? Should I not let her use any of my things and let her buy? Sh I mean, separate. It should be separation, right? That gets that gets tricky. It is. Um, <clears throat> for me, I've owned a salon and everybody was booth rent, and a lot of people used my product. I was okay with it. Are you okay with it? Yeah. <laughs> and but how you, much? You were, but you were really okay with it. I was really right? okay. Yeah, you that has to be. You have. Yeah, that's the thing. Otherwise, lock your stuff up. If, if you don't want that line blurred, I don't, uh, I don't suggest you do it. I, so me personally, I would not want that line blurred. So you're getting two perspectives here, which is awesome. But the thing is, is that I know Tracy and if she's like, okay, this is cool. Then it really was cool. She wasn't like later on bitter or pissed off. Yeah, we're going to complain about good it. About you know? replacing, but you ha I yeah. had to be okay if they didn't like, yeah. eh, because people don't remember. Yeah. She's not going to remember that she used it. That's she's not right. going to remember to replace it. It, and not on purpose. It's just just happens. happens. Um, I personally like the separation of like this is my stuff and on my cart. This is your stuff on your cart. You just pull your cart out when you do your services and put it away. And I I, I use mine. That's if you truly like want to help her, go through all your stuff and anything you haven't used in the last two or three months. Oh, there you go. Give to her or sell to her. That's nice. That's very helpful. I like that. CS nails. I've heard some nails. Oh. Oh yeah, uh, 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 Nell Tech share their experiences doing booth rent and the horror stories of their contracts not allowing them to work on people outside of the salon. And if they do, they can take clients within a certain distance from the salon. I was shocked. I feel like the whole booth rent, dude. What the hell? It's that's common, but it's not very legal. No, in most that's places. insane. If you're a booth rent, yeah. you are that's your right. own business. Well, that's how many. What the hell is that? You know how I've talked about like. 99% of people that think they're booth running are, are not, not booth runners. Yeah. They're actually employees. And it's because if you don't have a set of keys to the place, if you have to sign a contract that those clients aren't really your clients, if you have to only work certain hours or certain days, if you, any of that, yeah, any of that, you're not a booth runner. Yeah. Guys, and, and check. So, you know, every state's laws are, they're, they're going to be a little bit yeah, different. California is gnarly when it comes to that separation of independent contractor versus employee. Mm -hmm. You need to check your legal, you know, uh, laws when it comes to that to be certain. But generally speaking, you know, uh, if you are booth renting, you're an independent contractor. You're not an employee, which means you have the freedom to make decisions and do whatever the hell you want. Pricing. Everything. 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 Products. Products you purchase. Everything. Yeah, that sounds, that's a little funky. But a lot of people try to get you to sign the contract that says you will not take clients. Uh -uh. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Scroll down, Jorge. Let's see here. I got my student kit yesterday. They gave me low odor monomer and powders. Okay. Nice. 
practice. You'll get through it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get through it, exactly. Uh, I love the case that all my student stuff came in, though. That's awesome. Yeah, the, usually those cases are cool, man. They're, it's exciting. It's exciting. You get your case, get the products. Can you go up? So up a little bit more. I sent here an email. email. I don't think I have enough followers. Yes, but uh, yeah, or I would want to work with YN series. So let's discuss that a little bit, right? Yeah. So there is a, a difference between influencer and ambassador. For right. me, when it comes to the ambassadors, I want them to be engaged with their followers, yeah. but the follower count isn't all that important. Yeah. It's how are your nails? Are you engaged? Are you posting? Are you doing all those things? Um, yeah. Different categories. Yeah. So, so exactly, Tracy. So like, so check this out. Here's an example, right? Let's say you have 250 followers, right? But you're posting consistently. You're, you're, you're posting beautiful work, your nails. Mm -hmm. um, you're, you're engaging with the people that are commenting back and you're putting up Instagram stories and you're, you're active on the social media, right? That's a great foundation for growth yep. on your social media. So in our eyes, the way that we see that is like, here is somebody that has 250 followers that are super dialed in. Let's work with this person. Um, you will build, you know what I mean? Cause, cause we, we help and share and you'll yeah, get exposure that, that on that side. Yeah. Um, but, but if you have the right formula and foundation, you're inevitably going to grow. And what I mean by that is, and this is so rare, it's so rare, but if you are posting every single day, if you are engaging with all the comments, if you are posting stories consistently, if you're implementing the dollar 80 strategy and go look that up if you don't know what that is, Gary V dollar 80 strategy on Very Google. Good way of doing it. That's how you grow your account. It's how we, remember we used to do that, Tracy, yes, in the we beginning? Yep. We implemented that strategy and it works. If you're doing all those things, you're gonna grow. And we want to partner with you. Here's something that's crazy that I heard this morning. I wanted to, I wanted to talk about this. I love this so much. So, you know, the there's a digital artist, his name is Beeple. Have you heard of him? Beeple? Beeple, yeah. yeah. B-E-E-P-L-E, -E -E, Beeple. I think so. So he sold his NFT collection is, is it for like 60 million. The, the um, eight? No, oh, no, no, no. Those okay. are that's the board eight board no, eight board PR club. Eight. Yeah, yeah. So like here's some of the the stuff he does. He oh, does like wow. super interesting creative stuff, right? But sold his collection. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> no, it's so it's amazing. Yeah, he's creative. No, no, man. no, very, wow. very, very creative. Okay. Like that that's so good. So so check this out. You know what he does? He he creates and posts artwork on a daily basis on his Instagram. every A new piece of art content every single day, and he's been doing it for 12 years straight. Holy cow. Yes, yes. And new art. New art every single day. He does volume, that, and for art, that is insane. You wanna you talk about inspired, volume? You have to create it, you have. Every single talented. day. Especially, I mean, yeah, his work. This is not a stick man. <laughs> no, no, it's not a stick man. So, so, and, and so on a podcast, he was asked, like, you know, he was talking about how people look into his art and they try to find the secret meaning and all this stuff. And you know what his answer was? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. He's like, I just put shit together and, and then that's my, art. like, whatever just comes to my mind naturally, I just do yeah, it, you do it, post it, and then off it goes. Right. Mm. So he just, he just goes off. Um, <laughs> That's Elon Musk on a doge. <laughs> yeah. He actually gifted that to Joe Rogan. Did he really? That NFT. Yeah, he gifted it to Joe Rogan. What is his NFTs run? Well, that's what, that's what I was saying. He sold his NFT collection for over $60 million. Oh. Yes. $60 Good million. for him. Yeah, no. He, he, he's, he's been on talk shows. He's been like, he's doing the tour right now. It's like, it's insane. But my, my whole point is like, here's a guy at the highest level doing art, creating these NFTs, right? And he posts a piece of art every single day, guys, every single day. This is, we post every single day on every single platform. You know what I mean? Every single day on you. It was funny, I had a, I had a business meeting um, recently with a bank, right? And they were just like, oh, your social media is amazing. You guys are, that's awesome. How many YouTube videos a week do you guys do? You get like one a week? And I'm like, no, 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 we post every day. And they stopped. They were like, what? What? We post a new YouTube video, long form content 
every single day. Not easy to do, but we have a formula and we do it. So what I'm saying is like, I totally lost my whole beginning of this, like where, where this all started and came from. But the whole idea is like, oh, if you want to be an influencer oh. and you're talking about posting consistently, that's what you actually have to do. That's what we look at, you know, and you guys can do it. You can totally do it. Um, there's no reason why <clears throat> you can't, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Kira, I sent my reply last email. Okay, cool. Good. I'm glad you guys are. <clears throat> Mariah Jane, NFT? Yes. NFT, non-fungible token. Ooh, don't get me started. <laughs> no, it's, it's it, you know, so check this out. This was interesting too, because this conversation came up about art. So one of the highest selling pieces of physical art, who's the guy? Oh my God, I forgot his name. Uh, was it Dolly or I don't, I don't remember like $450 million supposedly this one piece of art was worth. Okay. One, 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 one piece of art. art. Yeah. Half a billion dollars. Right. I should have learned to draw. <laughs> I know I should have learned to draw, but, but here, here's, here's, here's what's interesting. Apparently this painting was someone had it, owned it. They painted over it. Okay. It was found and discovered. I don't know the details. Okay. I'm just, this is just from a podcast found, found the details. They sent it to a professional restorer who then removed everything on top of it. I've okay? watched him do that. Yeah. Isn't um, it insane? It's insane. It's insane. They can right. Do that. Detail by detail, but deep by detail. Still to this day though, apparently they are not a hundred percent sure if they can verify if this is the original or if it's a copy. So what's, what goes on in the art world is there are artists that are so good at making like replicas of artists. What some of them do, Tracy, is they create like a, 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 a Picasso yep. and say that it was a lost Picasso and it was discovered and they'll sell it for millions of dollars and it's a fake. Did you watch that museum? No, no, oh, I haven't seen that. Is, that, is that so good? Is yes. that what they were doing? Is that yes, what's happening? Yeah. Yes, and it fooled, it fooled, fooled a lot of people, a lot of people yeah. and a lot of money. Yes. And uh, to this day, the the person who who is the person that runs the museum? Oh, the the curator yeah. or the uh, I forgot the name. Real. Yeah, insists even yeah. though it has been proven. Well, that's the reputation, right? Totally. Yeah, yeah. And and so so a lot of people ask, right? Why why NFTs? This is why NFTs because you will never ever ever be able to fake that an, an original piece of art, it is stamped on the blockchain, it is verified with a serial number, and there's no question that is the original. And that is the beauty of NFTs. You're gonna see that in contracts, you're gonna see that in um, in any type of negotiating what, where there's a deal between people, you're gonna be able to put that, there's gonna be so many uses for NFTs, not just art, but, but, but guys, this is what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? This is why we're doing NFTs and that we're gonna be launching them next year this technology is amazing and it protects the flipping artists. It protects the artists in the end. Yeah. And there's no question, it's stamped on the blockchain. We know who did it, we know who owns it. We don't have to, no, there's no fake here, there. Yep. This is this is the one. And uh, to me, I think that is extremely important, especially for the artist. you know what I mean? Yeah. The original artist. Soulful, oh wow, imagine all the materials they need because old paints are made with like lead and stuff. I know, I don't know even know how they discover, how they go into finding and figuring out that um, that it is the original, you know, it's fascinating. It's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It's, it's a, a talent in itself. It is a talent. Yes, Jorge is here. He is right behind the table. He is tippity tapping away making sure that questions are answered and that you guys are all good. What's Tracy have in front of her? She has the new go time colors. Take a quick shot, Ali Morris. You want to see them real quick? Check these out. Aww. They are Buttes Magoots. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> um, beautiful colors launching on Sunday, guys. Do not miss the sale. Um, and it is 1020, which, uh, we actually have to skedaddle. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be back tomorrow, but maybe Tracy and Karen. That would be great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I might be on the road. I'm not sure where I'm going to be, or I might be out of town. 
to be determined. But uh, definitely we'll be back tomorrow regardless. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging with us today. Always a blast. One more question from Mama Han01. Do you recommend number 12 brush for beginners, Trace? Totally. I, I it, It's all preference. You're going to, whatever you begin with, you'll have that habit. So I recommend starting with the brush that you're going to want to use. If it's, I like a nine, R9. And when I work with long nails, I like the 12. So preference. But if that's the brush you eventually want to work with, learn with that brush. And then two more things. Tracy, can you show your nails? People want to see your nails. They're kind of a hot mess right now. Still going strong though, man, with the fiber. That's crazy. And also, uh, Courtney, is it Gallo? I think it's Courtney Gallo. Uh, thank you for subbing for six months at tier one. Thank you for being part of our Twitch community. We love having you part of the community. And thank you for everybody that followed too. Um, I'm going to start doing shout outs for follows as well. Thank you guys. Um, all right. Awesome. Have a great Wednesday. We will see you guys tomorrow. And um, I'm excited. Holidays are coming. The holidays are here. They're here, man. They're here. See you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching these highlights from our Twitch stream to talk to us live on Twitch. Join us Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday mornings. Come hang with us. We love engaging with you and talking with you in the chat. It's at Young Nails Inc. on Twitch.